falling, he's falling. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my August TBR for 2021. I will start this video off by saying I don't think any of these books are going to be read because I am in my final placement of ECE, Early Childhood Education, right now. It's my second week of placement. There are four weeks. My last day is August 20th, so there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of planning, a lot of non-reading being done, so we are making a TBR just because if you are new to this channel, you don't know this, but my mom picks my TBR every month and she always has a fun little theme to go along with the why she chose the book. So I figured we're just going to keep that tradition going even though we're probably not going to read any of these books. So without further ado, let us get started. So the theme for this month is very fitting. It is the last day of school because like I said, my last day of school is August 20th and I am so stinking excited. I'm so ready for it to be over. I am in the intensive program, which means I'm doing a two-year program in eight months, so it's a lot of work. The first book she chose is Goodbye From Nowhere by Sarah Zar. This is because I get to say goodbye to school. But this book follows Kyle, who discovers that his mom is having an affair. He also discovers that his dad knows about the affair and has been hiding it from him. So his whole entire world crumbles. His parents end up asking him to keep the affair a secret for the big family reunion that is happening in a few months. And it's basically the story of how this affair is causing ripples in Kyle's life. So, you know, I'm assuming it's a contemporary. I'm assuming that he's gonna discover some shit about himself and his morals and ideals. Who really knows, but it is a fairly short book, so maybe this one will be read. I also believe that I can get it on audiobook from my library. Maybe one book out of the six, seven she chose will be read. Next up is Nevermore and this is by Jessica Townsend. I'm pretty sure this has been on my TBR multiple times and I just still have not read it, but this is because I never have to go to school again because I refuse. I've been in school for seven years now. We're not doing it. Well, technically six and a half, but we're not going back. I refuse. This is a very beloved middle grade book on booktube, so I think that's why I just keep putting it off because I'm worried that I'm not going to like it, but pretty much everybody on booktube does like it, so I should probably just bite the bullet and pick it up. We'll see if that actually happens this month, but I believe this is another one that I can get on audiobook, so... That's probably going to be the plan for this month is a lot of audiobooks so that I can read during my break at placement. Next up is The Last by Hannah Jameson. This is because it is my last month of school. This follows a historian named John Keller who is on a work trip in Switzerland when his entire world ends. There was a nuclear attack on Washington DC which changes the world forever. This book takes place two months after that nuclear attack and John and 20 other survivors are stuck in a hotel. Their supplies are dwindling and John decides that he is going to climb up onto the roof to check the water supply quality and that's when he discovers a little girl floating in the water tower. This causes him to be faced with the terrifying possibility that there is a killer among the group of 20 survivors and it's like the story of that. I haven't seen a lot of people read this on booktube so I honestly do not know if it is good or not but I will say that I am definitely intrigued by the plot so I'm looking forward to this one. The next one is The Last of August. This is by Brittany Cavallero and this one again is because it's my last month of school but this is the second book in the Charlotte Holmes series. I read the first book a couple months ago and I believe I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, maybe a 3.5. I'm not 100% sure, but I do remember I enjoyed it, so this is just that continuation of that story. So I think it's going to be good because I did like the retelling, so we'll see. The next one, Last Year's Mistake by Gina Kiyako, and again, 
last month of school. But this follows a girl named Kelsey and a boy named David. They are inseparable in their high school, but then something happens that causes Kelsey to become the laughing stock of the school. They grow distant from each other. Kelsey moves away and she restarts her life, becoming the popular girl of her new high school, and that's when David's family relocates to her new high school and things get a little bit messy because she got a boyfriend now, but she still has feelings for David. I'm hoping that this isn't like a cheating trope kind of situation and she breaks up with the boyfriend right away to pursue David if that's what she so chooses. I don't know if this is young adult or new adult. I'm thinking that it's young adult, but I honestly have no idea. Have not heard anybody talk about this one at all, but it is a second chance romance, which I like that trope. The next one is another one that has been on my TBR 60,000 trillion times, and I just never pick it up, but it is Odd Child Out by Gilly McMillan. This is because I am out of school on August 20th. I'm out of here, and I'm never coming back. But this one uh, is a thriller. It has a lot of commentary about racism and social class, things like that. You know, it's probably gonna be more of a heavier thriller, which I don't know if my brain can handle that this month because too much work is being done. At this point, maybe at the end of the month, once all the work is completed, I'll get to it. But I do enjoy Gilly McMillan's books. Hopefully I like this one as well. And then the final book that she chose is Punching the Air by Ibi Zobe and Yusuf Salam. And this is because on August 20th, I'm gonna be punching the air because I'm so excited that I'm done. This is about a boy who was wrongfully incarcerated and it is written by one of the Exonerated Five and it's written in verse, which I am a big fan of. I think that this is going to be really good. I've heard really great things about it. So I definitely think that this one will be read. Since it is in verse, it's going to go by very quickly. So I think that this is one that I can pick up. For this month and not be too overwhelmed with my schoolwork and reading so stay tuned for the wrap-up where this will hopefully be talked about. <laughs> Alright everybody so that was my TBR for August 2021. Still don't know if any of these will actually be read but uh, check back at the end of the month for the wrap-up to see if I actually read seven books or zero books. Stay tuned. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!